In language and culture course with Dr. Park, we discussed many interesting topics. One of them was kinship terms. Kinship terms refer to the words that the people use to identify the relationship between the individuals inside the family or close relatives. I myself liked this topic and learned many things about the different ways of addressing the relatives in different cultures. I learned how the Korean and Japanese people address their close relatives in a respectful way. For example, in Korean culture, they call the older brother as Oba and Eonni for the older sister of females. Our professor Dr. Park told us that they, the Korean people, do that to show respect and honor to their elder relatives. For me, I still remember when I was about 9 years old when my father asked me to accompany him to visit an elder man in a far away village. I asked him who is the person whom we are planning to visit. Then he replied, Jaddak Ali, your grandfather Ali. At that time, I got confused because this elder man is not my grandfather. But I did not ask my father any further question about that. But when I came back home, I asked my mother, why did my father ask me to call that person as my grandfather? She answered me with this statement. We have to show respect to these elder people even if they are not our close relatives. The Arab people used to use kinship words in front of their relatives' first names to show respect not only for their age but also for the blood relationship, even if they are younger in age than the person who uses these terms. For example, my nephew, who is elder than me for about 24 years, used to call me Uncle Fahad and I used to ask him not to say that because of the big difference in age between me and him but he insists to do so. To sum up with, I just talked about the kinship terms which refer to the words that the people used to address the individuals within the family or close relatives. In addition, I mentioned examples of the different cultural norms in Korean and Arabic cultures about the kinship terms, with two stories of my experience regarding this topic. Thank you for watching my video.